third mistake that I see a lot of raw vegans and new vegans make is that they just eat all the time. And this was definitely the case for me. In fact, I was a big proponent of grazing. If you go and watch my older videos, I even recommend grazing. I say, you know, wake up in the morning and, and just eat food throughout the day, little meals here and there, and, and you always kind of want to be ready to, to go out and run or go out and do a handstand and go out and do some cartwheels. You always want to be 5K ready. And looking back, I was like, that's definitely not the way to go. But there was no one else teaching at the time when I got into raw veganism or even veganism. There was no one on the radar teaching intermittent fasting. And if you are to look into intermittent fasting after this video, go on YouTube, just type in intermittent fasting and do some research. You'll see how much sense it makes. It's just mind blowing that more people aren't talking about the benefits of intermittent fasting. Because the truth is, when you eat some fruit, let's say, or even some cooked food, some, some cooked vegan food, if you eat food, basically, anything with some, you know, anything that has some, uh, it's, it's, it's going to raise your insulin your body stops producing human growth hormone because when insulin's present, human growth hormone can't really get released. So when insulin's present, there's no human growth hormone and insulin has to be present when you're eating food. And when you stop eating food, after about six hours after you stop eating food, insulin goes down to baseline, human growth hormone can start getting released. And after about the 18 to 20 hour mark, after you, after, uh, you, know, you stop eating, human growth hormone is at its peak and it's being produced about 2000% more than it would be otherwise. So you're getting this massive rush of human growth hormone in the body when you're not eating. And if you're eating all the time, and the only time you're not eating is when you're sleeping, you're only really getting about maybe four hours of human growth hormone release. Because let's say you stop eating at 10 p.m. and then for the next six hours, your insulin's still coming to back down to baseline. So your insulin's actually not at baseline until 4 a.m. Then you wake up at 8 a.m. That's four hours of human growth hormone release. That's all you get, and you eat again at 8 a.m. So, whereas it's the opposite with intermittent fasting, you're getting this, this fountain of youth being poured into this, this human growth hormone, which, which helps with anti-aging and helps with, with, with maintaining muscle mass. You're getting that being released about anywhere from you know, 16 to 20 hours a day. If, if you, ha you know, have an eating window that's about four hours long or even eight hours long, you're getting just, so much more human growth hormone in your system by intermittent fasting. And so the biggest tip I give here is if, if you want to optimize your diet and you're already plant-based, you're already raw vegan, your diet honestly is probably pretty much good enough. I, I wouldn't zoom in so much as to what you're eating anymore. I'd just say, you know what? Focus on how you're eating. Are you eating in the right state of mind? Are you eating in a calm, peaceful state of mind? And are you eating within a four hour window or a six hour window or even an eight hour window? Because if you are, that's a heck of a lot better than if you're eating in this massive, you know, 16 hour window that a lot of people give themselves. So one great way to, to just get started with that is to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to start eating at 10 a.m. and I'm going to stop eating at 6 p.m. That right there gives you eight hours to get in all your calories. If you can't get in all your calories within eight hours, then you just got to focus a bit more on that until you're able to, because it's quite easy to get in all your calories within an eight hour window. Uh, for me personally, I've been doing a four hour window. I eased into that and I found great, great benefits with doing that. The benefits I found is I, I now no longer wake up and go pee in the middle of the night because I'm all my foods out of me by 4 p.m. I eat 12 to four. So all the foods out of me and all the waters out of me, at least by you know 6 p.m., 8 p.m., definitely 9 p.m., I've peed out everything, so I don't need to wake up and pee in the middle of the night. That has been fantastic, total game changer when it comes to sleep. The other great benefit I found from intermittent fasting is that I'm just able to focus more on things that don't revolve around food. I don't need to wake up and make a smoothie. I don't need to stay up late eating. I don't need to go out late and, and, and go to a restaurant or go grocery shopping or whatever. It's like all my food is eaten within this four hour window. The rest of the day has nothing to do with food. Whereas before, it's like I'm constantly, I have the decision to make, like, should I eat or should I not eat, should I eat, should I not eat. With intermittent fasting, that decision is made for me. I don't need to eat unless it's between 12 and 4. Now, 12 and 4, that, that window can change over time. Like if I'm traveling or something, I might not eat until 4 p.m. I might eat from 4 to 8. Or if, uh, if I know I have a flight out at like 2 p.m. or something, I might eat, you know, from 9 a.m. To, to 1 p.m. or something. I, I know there's a little four-hour window there. Um, but for the most part, 12 to 4 for me works really well. And the other benefit is just 
my body fat percentage is way, way lower. I used to be a lot skinnier, have a lot less muscle, and have much higher body fat percentage. I went and got DEXA scanned, came in at 18% body fat, even though I looked pretty skinny. I just didn't have muscle mass, I just didn't have all that human growth hormone in my system. So I was eating all the time. And now, you know, I'm, I weigh more, and my body fat percentage is lower. And I eat as much as I can within this four hour eating window. And I, I go to bed full, I go to bed satisfied, I go to bed completely uh, fulfilled, and I go to bed feeling quite disciplined as well, knowing that I stopped eating at a certain time. So those are some benefits of intermittent fasting, and yeah, it's just, it was a mistake looking back to be eating all the time. I wouldn't recommend it for, for someone at all. Um, and another benefit of intermittent fasting is that when you brush your teeth, you know, you wake up, you brush your teeth, and your teeth are clean until noon, and then you eat for four hours, and you brush your teeth at 4 p.m., and then your teeth are your teeth are clean again until you know, the next morning when you brush your teeth again. So rather than eating all the time, having to floss and, and brush between meals, now it's just you have like this, this one meal a day style of eating. You have this one meal a day chunk of time where you eat your whole meal in this four hour period and uh, it just works. So I know a lot of people, they do one meal a day and they have like a two hour eating window or one hour eating window. That works a lot better if you're doing cooked food. So if you are eating cooked food, I'd recommend, you know, uh, closing down your window time to maybe two, one to two hours. But if you're eating raw vegan, I'd recommend a four to six hour eating window just because raw veganism has so much more water, so much more volume involved with, with the diet. Uh, but you definitely wanna focus on the dates, the bananas and the avocados to make sure you're getting in all of your calories within that short period of time. Anyone else who's doing a much higher water content fruit diet when they're doing intermittent fasting, I'd say they need a five or six hour eating window, uh, which, works, which works as well. So, Keep that in mind and try it out. I hope you got something from this video. Hope to see you around, eat some fruit with you sometime this winter, sometime next summer, whenever, wherever. Just hit me up. It'd be cool to hang out. Much love. Peace out. Adios. How's everybody doing? It's a very, very cool place. We, we have not ate this much fruit in a long time. I feel like we're a little bit high on the fruit. Who else is feeling a little bit high on the fruit? notice about the people at this festival in particular is that everybody is very open-minded. Everyone is really loving and caring. I can feel their good hearts. Everyone is very welcoming and everyone is so eager to learn and become a better version of themselves. Yeah, I've met so many new people at this festival. There's so many cool people from all over the world. I know a lot of people I'm going to stay in contact with after the fruit festival. Really just it's all about the people coming together and just enjoying fruit life and everything beautiful that comes with that.